Hey guys, in this lesson we will talk about initial stages of embryogenesis from the topic human embryology. This is presented by me Yogita Khandelwal. So in this picture depicts brief summary about the initial stages of embryogenesis. So in day 1 we have fertilization. So fertilization occurs in zygote formation takes place which undergoes cleavage division and formation of blastomere occurs. Then it undergoes compaction. Then differentiation occurs and then finally cavitation in which blastocele is formed that is fluid filled cavity and blastomere is differentiated into two layers that is trophoblast and inner cell mass. Then uh, zona pellucida ruptures and zona hatching occurs and embryo enlarges in size and day seven it leads to implantation where the embryo comes in contact with uterine epithelium. Then we have cell mass differentiation where we have epiblast and hypoblast and then uh, at 12 day there is bilaminar disc formation where the embryo is divided into two laminas. Then we have mesoderm formation, mesoderm spreading and amniotic sac enlargement. So starting from cleavage division, it is a mitotic division but nucleocytoplasmic ratio increases with each successive division because of persistence of zona pellucida. Now, uh, because there is persistence of zona pellucida, so embryo that divides is of the same size as that of fertilized egg or zygote. Now, because of division, nucle nuclei is increasing, but cytoplasm remains same. Since it is increasing, it remains same, so nucleocytoplasmic ratio increases. In general, rate of cleavage division is fast, but in case of human, it is slow. Now, plane of cleavage division, we have two planes of cleavage division, meridional and equatorial. Meridional, it is a vertical plane of cleavage division which passes through animal, vegetal, pole axis and equatorial is horizontal plane of cleavage division which passes through center of embryo. In humans, cleavage division is holoblastic, that is complete embryonal division takes place and almost equal, that is blastomere formation uh, occurs which are equal in size. Now first cleavage division is meridional. First cleavage division starts 24 hours after fertilization and completed 30 hours after fertilization. Now second cleavage division is also meridional but it is perpendicular on first. Now since it is perpendicular on first we have 3 cell transistory stage before formation of 4 celled embryo. So just remember it in humans we have 3 cell transistory stage of embryo. Now third cleavage division is equatorial which is horizontal so first to vertical then horizontal and fourth and fifth cleavage division again meridional. Now dividing zygote moves through isthmus of oviduct towards uterus and corona radiata layer separates. So as the zygote that is dividing zygote is moving from isthmus to the uterus, corona radiata layer separates two, four, eight and sixteen daughter cells because of cleavage division are formed and these daughter cells are called blastomeres. Embryo with 8 to 16 blastomeres is called a morula. So morula is embryo with 8 to 16 blastomeres. Fifth day after fertilization, embryo enters in uterus. So fifth day it enters in uterus. And fifth cleavage division is completed at this stage. Is, and this stage is called blastocyst. So uh, fifth day, fifth cleavage division is completed and the embryo is called blastocyst. So blastocyst, a fluid filled cavity develops called blastocele. So uh, in blastocyst, a fluid filled cavity is developed which is called blastocele and fluid of blastocele is secretion of endometrium gland. We have glands in endometrium that secretes this fluid of blastocele. And this fluid enters within embryo by crossing zona pellucida. Now we have zona pellucida still. So it crosses the zona pellucida to enter embryo. And this blastocele separates blastomere into two zones. Outer trophoblast cell layer and inner cell mass. And this trophoblast envelops complete embryo. It is the outer layer and it envelops complete embryo. 
so at blastocyst we have three things blastocyst trophoblast cell layer and inner cell mass now see this is trophoblast cell layer and it will form extra embryonal membrane and placenta blastocyst that is fluid filled cavity and inner cell mass which is also called as embryonal knob and it will form proper embryo now implantation now till blastula embryo is same as the size of fertilized egg because of persistence of zona pellucida at 32 cell stage trophoblast layer of embryo secretes enzyme which digests zona pellucida so this enzyme digests a small hole in zona pellucida and zona pellucida ruptures now dividing embryos enlarges in size and its sticky layer comes in contact with endometrium so after digestion of zona pellucida embryo increases and it comes in contact with endometrium now this is beginning of implantation that starts at 6th day after fertilization rubber cells of trophoblast secrete proteolytic enzyme which makes vein endometrium for implantation so trophoblast cells which are in contact with endometrium have rubber cells which secretes proteolytic enzymes that makes it vein endometrium for implantation and implantation is completed 7th day after fertilization just remember it implantation starts at 6th day and completed at 7th day embryo at this stage is more than 100 celled stage now see this is a picture depicting entire from first day to till implantation so this is zygote it and un uh, undergoes cleavage division as it moves towards uterus so it this is two cell stage then four then eight and 16 and 8 to 16 cell stage is called morula now at 32 cell stage that is blastocyst it enters the uterus now this is endometrium gland that secretes fluid and a fluid filled cavity called blastocyst is developed and blastocyst is formed and then zona hatching occurs zona pellucida ruptures and uh, embryo grows in size and comes in contact with endometrium and the rubber cells uh, that this is beginning of implantation at 6th day now rubber cells uh, makes it vein endometrium and finally this is implanted embryo at 6th day of sorry 7th day of fertilization now we uh, endometrium is divided into two layers stratum functionalis and basalis uh, this embryo is implanted in stratum functionalis now this is further this thing uh, is further divided into three layers decidua capsularis decidua parietalis and decidua basalis now this is uh, implanted embryo in stratum functionalis layer and this is decidua parietalis now this is embryo eighth day after fertilization now this is trophoblast trophoblast differentiates into two layers this is cytotrophoblast and this is outer one is syncytotrophoblast and syncytotrophoblast is in direct contact with the maternal blood now uh, uh, trophoblast uh, forms an embryonal stack stock so this is embryonal stock that is derived from trophoblast and it at attaches this inner cell mass now inner cell mass is differentiated into two layers this is epiblast and this is hypoblast epiblast is primitive ectoderm and hypoblast is primitive endoderm now epiblast cell layers from this amniogenic cells and an amniotic cavity is formed so these amniogenic cells is derived from epiblast which is also ecto, uh, so it also becomes ectodermal in origin and similarly uh, hypoblast give origin to yolk sac cell layer and this which forms primary yolk sac so this is embryo eighth day after fertilization so that's all for this lesson thanks for watching